Gray wolves, eradicated from California and the western U.S. for most of the past century, have just returned to the Golden State. In August, the first wolf pack seen on California soil in close to 100 years was captured on a trail camera in Siskiyou County near the Oregon border. The discovery of a pack of seven gray wolves, two adults and five pups, comes four years after a lone wolf, codenamed OR7, was detected crossing into California the first known sighting of a wolf since they disappeared from the state. It is significant for so many reasons. I mean, wolves were eradicated um, and became extinct in our state at the hands of humans. Um, the last wolf was shot in 1924 in Lassen County. And the fact now that an extinct species and a native species to California can come back and recover is, is definitely a time for celebration. While conservationists are rejoicing, not everyone is thrilled. Ranchers and hunters worry the carnivores may devour livestock and deer and elk herds. Gray wolf is currently listed as endangered under both federal and California law, so ranchers can't kill or harass them unless regulations change. Gray wolves have slowly been returning to the west since they were reintroduced in Yellowstone Park in the mid-90s. But the wolves' recent arrival in California caught wildlife officials off guard. Now the California Department of Fish and Wildlife is racing to finish a wolf management plan before conflicts arise, bringing ranchers, hunters, and environmental groups to the same table to voice their concerns. We didn't agree on everything, but the idea was to come together and try to create a plan that will help this endangered species recover um, while also protecting the interests of those that share the landscape with wolves. There's, there's no wolf recovery if you don't consider you know, not just the hard science, but the social science of it. Much of the disagreement centers on how to deal with wolf run-ins with livestock. Ranchers say they should be allowed to kill wolves that threaten their herds if all else fails. Environmentalists are arguing for non-lethal techniques, such as the use of guard dogs and flashing lights. The wolf management plan is expected to be finalized by the end of the year. I would love it if it happened in my lifetime, it may not, but at least for the next generation to be able to go to Yosemite National Park and hear this iconic symbol of wilderness howling at night and not be afraid of that howl. <laughs>